Magnificent. I'm on the block. Shoot you with this Glock, but I can't lie, though. You know me. I am motherfucking hot. But anywho, let me tell you what I'm about to do. So, I would like to say Merry Christmas to all of you that will see this video. If you want to know what I got for Christmas, I got three shirts. So, let me start with the story. So, I was sent a text message in a group chat that I am in with a whole bunch of my friends. You know, we play Crazy 8s, we flame each other, we text each other when we want to do something, and pretty much that's what our group chats consist of. Nonsense. December 17th, 8.41 a.m., I was sent this message by my friend Hayden. I'm going to read this, and this involves the same people from my story, which I kind of forgot, so link in bio, I forgot the title because I have short-term memory loss, but this involves Trish and Trisha. I'm going to read this. This is what Trish said. Yo, I did anal with my girl outside in 40 degree weather, leaned her up against the front of my truck in a public park and went at it. Hayden replies with, you're one weird guy, Trish, but you do you. And also, Trish said, it was pretty fucking hot, LMAO. As I put my phone down, I am absolutely, completely, and utterly disgusted of what I just read. What in the blue hell is Trish and Trisha doing? 40 degree weather. Going at it. Balls deep. You see, Nigniff, he would never do that. You know why? Because first of all, I'm outside. Second of all, I'm outside. Third of all, I'm outside. It's cold, public, and I need my space, and it's in front of a truck. What if people were passing by? No. That is not what Nigniff would ever do. You see, every single day, I think about my life. I think about the new things I can do every day. And these are not one of the things I want to do. Trish, you're, you're my bud bud. I haven't talked to you in a long time. But this is unacceptable. You probably have a sickness now. Since you do, do you have, what was that shit called? Ammonia, pneumonia, insomnia? Whatever the fuck, that shit when you get too cold and you die or some shit, he probably has that. So if you're listening to this, shit, you're still breathing, so congrats if you're not slow beanies. So, as I'm reading this text over and over and over again, well, like, maybe like a couple times, because it, it, it's funny, but like, bud, if anything, you could have just did it inside the truck maybe if anything you could have just did it in the the five foot bed because you know usual usual like regular trucks their beds are five feet that's that's enough space you're good right you ain't that well actually trish is pretty tall he's like six feet or some shit but the whole point of the story is if you're going to do something that involves facts you have to be private you have to stay safe and if anything, don't even tell nobody, especially if if you're going to do it like this. You know, I can really see why you said it was hot. You know why it was hot? Pretty fucking hot. It's because you were hogging up all that goddamn fucking oxygen that I need to fucking breathe with that stank ass shit that you've been hitting. JK, am I JK? I don't fucking know, but that's not the whole point. More of the story is, listen gonna do something do it in private and that's about it and also stay safe i'm telling you stay safe because if i find out you have a kid i'm gonna be the uncle or i'm finna be a godfather but that is all i have to say i rest my case magnificent i'm on the block shoot you with this glock hey ya. Yeah.